So during the course of coaching sessions, there are there are patterns that I start to see. And the one that I've been seeing lately is all around what's being addressed in this book, which is an old book. Many of you have probably read it, but I, I just want to read to you, and I'm going to have to take my glasses off, actually, to read the back. But here's what it says on the back that I think so beautifully synopsizes it. It says, Overload is not having the time to finish the book uh, you're reading on stress. Margin is having time to read it twice. Overload is fatigue. Margin is energy. Overload is red ink. Margin is black ink. Overload is hurry. Margin is calm. Overload is anxiety. Margin is security. Uh, overload is the disease of our time and margin is the cure. In coaching sessions, I am having more dialogue about this very issue. It is, it is everything from coach, I don't have time to get it all done to I have this I have this feeling of burnout where I just I just feel like I have to I have to get away I have to do something different and what I'm clear on after 12 years in this chair is that we all need margin we need some time to be quiet to think Daniel Harkavy, the founder of Building Champions, recently reminded me that in, in our master's coach group, we used to tell people, and we are going to renew this conversation, that, you know, as arguably the best of the best in, in the industry that we serve with the master's coach, these are people that must devote four hours a week, four hours a week to on time, meaning I'm working on my business, not in it. I'm thinking, I'm strategizing, I'm planning. Most people today, I can tell you, that we just don't have time for that. We don't provide time for that. So this is a fantastic read. You're gonna tell me you don't have time to read it, and I understand that. Um, get the book summary. If you don't get the book summary, at least start prioritizing some margin in your lives. Maybe it's just bookends. Maybe you just start the morning without turning on the black shiny screens and read something motivational or inspirational. Maybe in the evening you journal some things that you're grateful for and some things that you want to accomplish tomorrow. Start small, work your way into some margin so that you can enjoy the benefits that the author talks about in here, which I highly, highly desire for you. Make it a great day.